channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina Angelina, and if you're not new, of course, as always, thank you so much for coming on back. So today I want to do a hair tutorial. Um, I recently posted a picture on Instagram, and I do have a video or two with the hairstyle. And it's basically just a curly, wavy look. I've never done anything like this before nor have I even had this much hair in a very long time to even try to achieve a look like this. A lot of requests on like what products did I use, um, how, did, how did I do it, so I want to share that with you guys today. Um, and then another thing, I was just putting on these new pieces I got from Ana Luisa. Um, I've honestly been looking at this site, it's a jewelry page for absolutely ever. They were kind enough to send over these two pieces. This one is my absolute favorite, and I'll do a close-up. And it says Mama on it, and it's just the most beautiful, dainty piece of jewelry. Like, I love dainty necklaces. I just feel like it makes your decolletage look really good. It's a little, it's a nice little pop when you're wearing just a regular t-shirt. And then this ring, I'm just obsessed with how it looks. And I also love that it has... Uh, it's not connected in the back. It's not connected. So if I grow with it or shrink with it, it'll grow with me. So that's with these new pieces. I absolutely love them. So I will have the link and a code down below for you. So make sure that you check them out because they have such beautiful, minimal, timeless pieces that are going to like grow with you. And I think that's the best part. It's time to invest a little bit into our pieces. And at the same time, they're just so affordable that it's like a check, check, check in the book. <laughs> so definitely make sure you check out Ana Luisa and um, let's get into this video. I have freshly washed hair. I washed it last night, slept with it. Um, I just had it up in a pinche. And this is what it looks like, just like bed dried, air dried. <laughs> I haven't done anything to it. Um, as you can see, it's not extremely straight. It, it has a little bit of a wave and a little bit of a, this is where I slept. <laughs> so um, let's go over the products I'm gonna be using. My new all-time favorite dry shampoo has to be this Redken Deep Clean Dry Shampoo. Uh, I posted a video on it, or a Reels, a YouTube video? A Reels <laughs> of this product. It's hands down the best dry shampoo I have tried. It makes your hair smell and feel like you got a fresh blowout and you are like like that for two to three days. This controls the oil so much, it barely gives you any residue because I know that's a lot of issue that we have with dry shampoos because then it'll leave the white residue. You spend more time trying to get out the residue than trying to style your hair. This I would say like a 1 out of 10 of residue that you work in and it literally melts into your hair and your hair just is so voluminous, it's so soft, you don't feel any waxy texture to your hair, it's A1. So we're going to start off with this one, so what I like to do, so don't mind me if I keep looking this way, my mirror is right here, but what I like to do is I like to just section it and starting at the top and just from a good distance just give it a spray there is hardly any noticeable uh, residue so I like to work it in and all I'm gonna do is do that to the rest of my hair and then I will just work that in the next step would be for my ends, and I've been really enjoying the Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Split End Mender. This has argan oil and plant protein, and this really, really helps with my ends, not to look so dry, crispy, crunchy. Like, you guys have to remember, I have bleached hair under here, so I need all the help I could get. Like, I'm, I'm only gonna take a pump like this. I'm just gonna work that into my fingertips just warm up the product and it doesn't make your hair look greasy it doesn't weigh it down at all and I'm just gonna work that into my ends and I like to pick up my hair pieces my hair pieces pieces of my hair and really like work that in there and make sure that my ends are going to be nice and smooth 
again with Eva NYC 10 in 1 Main Magic. This is their primer. This can be used for so many different things. Um, this strengthens, heat protects, reduces frizz, detangles, softens, cuts drying time, adds shine, nourishes, smooths, and UV protection. So I'm going to use this right now as a heat protectant. So this is pretty strong or it's pretty, what's the word? Let me show you. I like to put it in my hand instead of my hair because I find it's almost like an oil. I don't know if you could see that. It's almost like an oil, so too much of this with the dry hair will weigh it down or make it look greasy. So you have to be careful of that. This is the Straining Iron. I'm gonna put the specific name of this one, and remember, I will leave links all down below for every product that I mention. Um, this one is a keratin straightener, and this has specific plates. Um, so it's not like your typical um, flat iron with metal plates. This one actually has like ions that help straighten your hair but protects it. It's going to ha leave your hair looking really shiny and soft. So this is the tool that I've been using and I love that you can specify the heat setting. So it can go up to 450 and the lowest is 200. I like to stay around the middle at 320 to 360. Um, depending on what I'm doing or how fast I need my hair to be done. Right now, I do have it at 320. And I have just this little bit of hair at the bottom to work with. Okay, I'm gonna slide in my straighten iron and I'm gonna curl this one away and I just twist. And the great thing about this iron is that it is rounded and it's not exactly black. I mean, <laughs> it's not exactly straight edged um, so it helps with the curling process and then I have this little curl right here hopefully you can see that and then I just like to move on and I'm gonna grab another section and slide it this is harder than I thought to try to do it and explain at the same time so I've got my little curl there. Obviously these um, hair pieces are way smaller, so I'm, we're not getting like the full effect. I do have this mirror here to help me. Uh, if you've seen in my previous videos, especially um, for bleaching and dyeing and all that, you would see I have a trifold mirror called the self-style self system, if you have that. That is a godsend, like that is absolutely amazing. The reason why I can't use it right now is it's hard to film and be my new apartment. The doors are so high that it doesn't work if I'm so heartbroken. Like the extendable pieces to hook it on over your door, it doesn't drop as low as I need it to because these doors are really, really high up. So. I'm stuck to this little mirror that I actually use for um, taking pictures of props and it's the only one I have. I have to get a um, tabletop mirror that's small. Okay, so I have all these curls right here. Hopefully you can see that. And then I will just move on to the next section. And I go a little bit higher by the temples, scoop it back and pin that up. You guys, I'm getting white hairs and it's insane. And they are like full force too. Cause you could see them so clear and I'm not opposed to gray hair, but it's like, I want it to be self-inflicted <laughs> and not just like a sign of me getting old, but whatever. I said I was going to go back to white hair eventually. So as you can see, I got my little curl there. And then you're just going to keep working that around. I think the smaller the section though, the better the curl is if it's not so thick. And then you just curl. I need to get one of those um, gloves, thermal gloves, heat protecting gloves. Oh, you get the gist of it. Let me keep on moving. 
So at this point, you want to choose your part so that way your curls go and fall in the right direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that go and make my part. I like mine to be sat um, on the side but not straight back. I like it at an angle. And now I can curl the pieces on this side. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. Okay, so, whew, can you see the sweat? <laughs> okay, so not all pieces are gonna be perfect. Some are just gonna act up because all of a sudden, right at the finish line, this side just started acting up, but whatever. You got your curls. They should look something like this. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually separate them. Like, I'm just gonna grab a curl and separate so it gives me more body more curls so i don't have any hairspray <laughs> i cannot find it if i were to use a hairspray i would probably use eva nyc's hairspray or um i'm not a big fan of the l'oreal l net but it does keep your hair in place i'm just somebody who likes to touch her hair and once it's crunchy, I don't like that feeling, and I feel like the L'Oreal Elnat, Elnat does that, and I don't like that crunch, unless I'm doing something wrong. But yeah, I just feel like my whole look is elevated right now. My hair matches my makeup. I am very happy. I feel like I'm listening right now from the, <laughs> from the sweat of working on this damn hair. But um, I hope you liked it. Again, I will leave links down below. Do not forget to check out Ana Luisa with these really beautiful pieces. Very minimal, very on trend, but I also feel like minimal jewelry just goes with you. I just, I love the pieces. So make sure you check out the bottom bar. Everything will be down there. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.